What up, y'all? It's T-Biz again, and we got another action figure tonight. I shouldn't be doing reviews. I actually need to be at work tomorrow morning, and that's, um, I'm what you would call a turkey person or a turkey man. Like, I work in that department, and um, I don't always handle the turkeys, but I have to handle everything revolving around them and eventually handling turkeys. But anyways, yeah, it's a busy time of the month for people like me. But we still got to enjoy ourselves after work and kind of unwind. So, yeah, we got a DC Multiverse Man Bat. Man Bat. And uh, we got to check him out because I uh, can't remember where I picked him up. If it was, uh, it was GameStop, man. Good old GameStop's always got some deals, man. I think I got him on a decent deal. Um, Use my coupon, I believe, too, maybe. My monthly coupon. And, um, or not. I think I used that on a Boglin. Anyways, I've been wanting to check this figure out. I've recently like set up a lot of my DC Multiverse figures. I'm not quite done yet. We still got a lot of reviews to get through, but they take up a lot of real estate on the shelf and they look awesome. And um, shout out to the Todd Father. Anyways, this is a DC Rebirth Man Bat. And uh, here, look, look at the back of the package. Looks awesome, man. There's a uh, Batman all bound in chains. Look at all the bats and we got the Man Bat. So yeah, let's go ahead and let this guy open and check him out. Hey folks, and here he is. You get your, uh, as Overlord likes to say, collectible trading card. Uh, yeah, the Man Bat DC Rebirth. Let's go ahead and read that real quick just to prove that I can read. Let's see, uh, real name, Dr. Robert Kirkland, Kirk Langstrom. This genius level zoologist attempted to make a serum derived from bats in order to give human, spe or human special sonar senses. But the formula backfired, mutating Langstrom into a giant Man Bat complete with his own feral personality batman routinely tangles with this creature of the night hoping to save langstrom from his own scientific sins it's kind of like um doc kurt connors and spider-man the lizard it's kind of got the same thing going on and um rest in peace uh, kevin conroy he's he's the batman for millennials and for i guess people my age too but my my batman is more like adam west Batman, maybe, and uh, DC Superpowers, Batman, like George Perez, Batman. Anyways, but, um, or Michael Keaton, Batman, but Kevin Conroy is everybody's Batman, and, um, yeah, God rest his soul, man, God rest his soul. He's also a badass merman in Revelation, and, um, yeah, man, God rest his soul. We've got a hockey puck stand, here's our man bat, he looks pretty cool for a mega figure, man, I like him a lot, uh, Will he stand well? I don't know. We're going to have to find out. It's going to be good luck on that. So let's go ahead and dig in a little bit. Face sculpt looks pretty sick. Pretty freaking rad. Nice paint apps. The sculpting is amazing. If you'd have told me as a little kid, or not a little kid, at least a high school guy, an early 20s guy, that McFarlane would be doing DC figures, I'd be like, no way. Uh-uh. It's not going to happen. That's crazy. He's image. He's spawned. But no, he can do Spawn, and he's going to bring back Spawn, and he's going to bring uh, do DC stuff. But look at all this detail on the wings. That's pretty cool, man. Got sculpted pants, as usual. He's got a, he's got a nice butt. And he got double knees and all that. His feet seem like it's going to be an issue with the feet. Um, they do bend, but they only bend so much. They don't straighten up because he's a feral man bat, so he doesn't need to... Stand tall and stand straight. Let's do feet, do swivel around all the way. Let's see, let's zoom out a little bit more. Whoop, there we go. Yeah, he's got a waist. Diaphragm somewhat. Or, or midriff, torso, or whatever. But it swivels. His head, well, you don't really need his head to go all sorts of nuts, but it can move a little bit. Let's see, arms go out. So that's cool. So it can like kind of like he's like swooping down. That's kind of cool. Um, got elbows, and he is a mega fig. So let's see, Ooh. Ah, elbows, and he's ready to punch too. He's ready to swoop down and just punch the crap out of Batman. He's got cool cuts in his pants. Got big old feet, man. That's crazy. You know what to say about guys with big feet? Big egos. Anyways, um, yeah, I think this is going to be the issue here. Is getting well, he can stand. stand, but will he do the midnight flops? He just might. 
you just may, you just might. But um, other than that, he's pretty sick. He's pretty freaking sick. I don't know what else you could do with him. Uh, but he looks rad. Let's see if we can get him maybe, maybe another pose. And here we have him punching the crap out of Batman. This figure's rad, dude. It's really cool. He doesn't stand very well, but he's still freaking cool. And at least you have a stand. So there, there's, there's ways to work around that. Um, yeah, he's awesome, dude. He's really, really cool. And this is one of my favorite Batmans, too, is this Detective Batman. He's really, really cool. Um, I haven't seen him in a long time. But, uh, yeah, he's he's neat, man. And, man, I got to tell you, I guess everybody's getting cold weather now. And this, this is driving me up, man. Turning to Ashy Larry from uh, Chappelle Show right now. You know, just the uh, Hispanic version of Ashy Larry. But, anyways, uh, yeah, that's it for Man Bat, man. He's, he's pretty freaking cool, dude. Really like him a lot. Yeah, he can't stand him worth the shit, but he's still pretty cool. He's still freaking awesome, and he just, you know, is a mega figure. Yeah, dude, he's, he's, he's up there, dude. Alrighty, folks, and here he is next to Killer Croc. Actually, <laughs> I can't believe I said that. <laughs> what a Freudian slip. Anyways, I want to get that Killer Croc one of these days, though. But, uh, yeah, there's Mad Bat next to Detective Batman, if that gives you any idea of the size of this figure, you know, because I don't want to get bogged down on um on freaking, uh, you know, size comparisons and crap like that, because it gets kind of, I don't know, for me, it gets a little old. It's like, if you... If you, if you know, you know. If you don't, then I don't I don't know what to tell you. Have you been collecting figures? <laughs> it's like, that's a question mark. Anyways, but I just don't like to get bogged down because I don't, don't have time right now. It's a busy week. Anyways, um, that's it for tonight's reviews. Hopefully, we'll have... It's actually my Friday tomorrow. So, yeah, we're going to be banging out some more toys in the next few days. So, for sure. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, y'all. And, uh, yeah, hopefully more reviews coming up soon. All right, later.